Hello, my homies. One smart cat. Doing some more spell slingers. And... I want to say something. I have... I have some thoughts. Some quick thoughts. I play this game for fun. I don't know if you know that or not. I think it's fun to make weird decks. And I think it's fun to use all the different spell slingers and to make different decks with them and different mechanics and different cards. I think that shit's fun. Overall, I think ranks are pretty overrated. And I think that they're pretty much bullshit for the most part. And what I mean by that is I don't care what rank you are. I don't care what rank I am. And the reason that I'm saying that is cuz I've been working on this deck, this Liliana deck, which is pretty fun. Liliana's Profane Palace. We'll get to that here in a second. Um <clears throat> I've been coming across Gutfires and I've been coming across uh Jace Mills. And you know what? As soon as I see one, I just I just concede. I just end the match because I don't care <laughs> if if you care so much about your rank and about wanting to win games that you you're gonna play these decks that literally have no interaction because the let me make myself big I feel like I should be big for this like the Jace mill has zero interaction all you're doing is you're just milling yourself out the gut fires have zero interaction. All you're doing is just putting out gut fires. <laughs> That's all you're doing. You put it out, it dies. You put out another one. Like, it's... There's no interaction in the gameplay. Like, I like card games because I like to see what kind of decks I make. And I like to see what kind of decks my opponents make. And I like to see how they interact with each other. I like to see what they do. And what they have the capabilities of doing. Like, that shit is fun. Playing against a deck that just throws away its own cards like even if it was a jace that milled me i would prefer that like i don't have a problem with mill decks like if you're gonna mill me that's cool you know i have to kill you before you mill me <laughs> but whenever you're milling yourself there's there's no interaction there like it's the same thing i need to kill you before you mill yourself but then you know you get to turn six and all your cards are one and you can make them into zero and you just marry yourself. Like, it's not fun. And if that's the kind of stuff that you think is fun, then whatever. Good for you. I don't care. If, if you got to diamond or platinum or mythic using those decks, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> copying a strong deck and using it to climb the ranks is pointless it means nothing and I don't know that's all I have to say about it because when I'm recording this uh, like I'm gonna go into a game after I describe my deck and if we go against a gut fire I'm gonna concede if we go against a mill I'm gonna concede because I don't care I don't care about this number right here I really really don't I play this game for fun and you know what I don't think playing against those decks are fun <laughs> all right my rant's over let me show you this deck that I made Liliana's profane palace now a quick overview and then I'll go into the actual deck tech so this bases off of the new land card Westville Abbey um, at the start of your turn you deal one damage to yourself it flips into a profane palace after you've been dealt 13 damage in the game. Once it flips, it no longer damages you and it starts giving you these guys. They are uh, two three twos, and any damage that they do, whether it's to the opponent's spell slinger or just by blocking or anything, they heal you for whatever their damage is. So like if you buff these guys up, they can give you more than three health. They can give you, you know, whatever their attack is. And that's the premise of this deck. Uh, everything in here is pretty low level. Besides Shadow of the Past. And I have Shadow of the Past in here just because it's a really strong card. And if it gets to the point of where I have 10 mana, you know, this is like a turnaround mechanic, basically. 
Um, everything else is pretty low level. I am splashed with white. That way I get even more uh, life gain. Just to make sure that I don't kill myself with the profane palace. So that's the overview. I mean, it's very simple. Um, get to the profane palace, heal yourself, do damage. Um, it's pretty simple. Going into the deck tech about the whole thing. So I talked about the profane palace. Pact of the Warlock works really good with this. Uh, at the first level, you get the little closet that you're draining life from. So as long as it's out, like you'll lose life from the palace, but you gain life from this, so it's good. This is just a good removal card. Minus three, minus three, minus five, minus five if something died. And then the last one, it gives all your creatures drain if they die on your turn, which is just more life sustain, which is really good. Uh, even before we get to all the magics, I should say, besides this, like all the spells and stuff, every spell that I put in here is just removal. <laughs> it's all just removal spells. But going into the creatures, uh, it's a one, two, two. Whenever they attack, it heals. It all, it's just sticking with the theme of making sure that we have enough life to uh, stay in the game and to hopefully win the game. Um... My first spell, one cost, is a doom. So it'll doom a creature, and at the end of their turn, then they will die. Destroyed at the start of your next turn. Yeah. So at the end of their turn, they die. Uh, the healer, two, uh, two, two, three, and it gives us more heals. Once again, it, we just want to make sure that the palace doesn't kill us. And honestly, Liliana has her own sustain with, um, every time she brings something back, she heals herself. But this is just to make sure that, you know, we don't only have like 10 health or something like that. Famished Fiend. She's a 2-2-3 and she drains your opponent. We do damage and we do and we get life. Very good. Uh, the Witch is a 3-2-2. I have her in here because she's able to give other stuff a re Relentless. I have 10 creatures in here that have Relentless. And then 10 creatures that don't. So she can give the creatures that don't have Relentless, she can give it to them. And once your creature has used his Relentless, he can also she can also give him Relentless again. So it can die again. Very, very helpful. My Blood Queen. I love this card. It's a 3-2-3. Three, three. It has flying. And any damage that she does, she, uh, she gains that much health. It doesn't give us a health. But I kind of have her in here just as uh, defense against flying. Undead Striker. He has Relentless. He's a 3-3-1. Something good to attack with and something that dies and comes back. The Rock. Do I have one of these or I have two of these? I only have one of these. Uh, also defense against flying. And whenever it attacks and whatever attacks with it, you gain that much health. So this is a very life heavy deck. Uh, P Fowl 422 has flying, has relentless, more flying defense, and more relentless. So we get uh, we get more life sustain with that. Liliana's Goliath, just a staple in a Liliana deck. Whenever it comes back, it comes back very strong. Uh, Flagrant Fowl, four cost spell card for some removal. We've got two of those. Vampiric Knight. Uh, 424 has armor. Whenever it attacks, it does drain. So, I mean, if you haven't figured it out, you know, it's just, it's a lot of drain, a lot of uh, life sustain for us. We're basically just trying to outlast the other opponent. And, like, once we get these things out, um, the life gain gets, gets, like, crazy. Uh, ejected, five cost spell. It takes one of their creatures and it throws it in the deck, which is pretty much the same as removal. It doesn't kill it, but it gets it off the field. This is a new card, which I have uh, slowly been falling in love with. So it's a five cost, five six, but whenever it comes out, it basically makes itself a five one. However, it has trample and it has relentless. So it's a five one that whenever it dies, it comes back as a five six. I can't block, but still, 
It's a five six ass trample, and it gets buffed whenever it comes back because of uh, Liliana. The Blood Lord, uh, five cost four four. Whenever it comes out, it drains the opponent for three. Just more drain, get more health. And Wrong Turn is another destruction uh, spell. It costs six, which is pretty meaty. But whenever the turn that it comes out, it only costs three. So situationally, it's a very low cost uh, destruction spell. And even not like whenever the game gets longer, I mean, six mana to destroy creatures. There's nothing wrong with that. So this is Liliana's Profane Palace. Go ahead and make myself small. And we'll go into a game. Uh, we'll see how the game goes. Uh, maybe I'll do another one after this just to show like proof of concept of the deck. Because I've been messing with it since last night and it's been doing pretty well um, against regular decks. <laughs> against other people who are actually playing the game. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. There's been a lot of Soren players, which is cool. I mean, he's the new spell slinger that came out. A um, lot of vampires, a lot of drain. And off we go. All of these are way too high for right now. Please give us some lower cards. That's good. That's good. We don't have a turn one, but it's okay. We might get a turn one from our Quasit, the, the Warlock, uh, yeah, that thing, the Warlock Pact. Avenge them. We do have like four one mana cards in here, so, oh, there we go, we got our Quasit. What does he have over here? Starting turn four, uh... Okay, so he has the one that gives you the plus ones. Put out our closet. And the turn. Yeah, so if you haven't seen this card, it keeps track of the damage that's been dealt to you. So it's going to keep hurting us at the start of our turn. And any damage that she does to us, it will also track that too. See, now it's at two. But we're not too worried about that because we have plenty of healing. What do we want to put out first? Mm, we'll put this out first, and then our next turn we'll make this relentless. And I'm actually going to go ahead and attack with this. She'll kill it, but uh, that's fine, because basically I just want to get her life down to two or to one. So now if she attacks me, I can kill her with this one. That's the whole reason why I did that. Now we can kill her. Just one more taste. And now we have field advantage, unless he puts something down. Ah, oh, there we go. But that's fine. Oh, I kind of want to get her out. Oh, I kind of want to blow her up. I kind of want to do all of these. <laughs> um, let's blow her up. That way we get closer to our ultimate warlock faster and we still get the uh we get the attack and the drain and all that and still five damage on this so like using this card ooh, i need a burp give me a second Uzi. like using this card like taking damage isn't a bad thing <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do what we said and make this relentless. Because all taking damage does is get you closer to your card activating. So it's a good thing. And usually with the Profane Palace, like you're taking damage, so obviously you're taking damage, you know, you're getting lower life points. But this deck is, is basically built to be healing you while you're taking the damage so it kind of balances itself out Stop it's only blood. Uh. i'll 
probably... Ooh, she has one too. Now I'm definitely going to put this out. I was going to put this out, but now I'm definitely going to put it out. Um, Let's attack with everything first to see if she blocks with this, which would be really great for us. Okay, this guy knows that you you can use your life points as as a commodity, so that's good to know. We're gonna put out uh, our flyer, and uh, we don't care if that dies. So we're gonna he heal ourselves. This this deck is meant to keep us healthy. What are we where are we at on here? Okay, our next turn we'll start getting our our thing. We'll transform. And it won't hurt us anymore. So that's good. That's a good thing. She does have these flyers. And she's going to keep buffing this and making it stronger and stronger. But I have so much removal in this deck that it's not a big deal. Like literally... Let's actually go ahead and kill this. I'm fine with lo losing this as long as it gets rid of one of her flyers. Um, she can get this as healthy as she wants. And as if I draw any of my spell cards, then we're going to blow this up. Every single one of my spell cards is a removal. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. All right, so let's do that. So now we can start draining him every time that any of our people die. And we got one of our priests. We got two of our priests. So we'll go ahead and throw one of those out. Let's send everything. He could kill whatever he wants. Whatever he kills is going to drain him. Because of our last pact that we got. Everything he kills will... Hurt him one and heal us one. Is this one that flies when something else comes out? After you summon a vampire, this flies. Okay. So we do need our removal spells or we'll be in trouble. So hopefully we draw our removal soon. So he has a lot of flying stuff because that guy makes it so that whenever every turn that something dies, uh, he puts out another flyer. Greetings. Hey, what's up, bud? Um. So we should be able to survive. Uh, that's gonna give us three, and we get a drain. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have this to block, so we will be able to survive another turn. But we, we need to draw removal on this next turn or we're fucked. Oh, never mind, we're fucked. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not mad about it at all. Because that was a fun game. Five, ten... Yeah. Just one more taste. Good on him. Yeah, man. Good shit. We'll go ahead and do another one after this one. And I mean, if you've seen in any of my other videos, you you know that I'm not afraid of uploading videos of me losing. I mean, that's that's part of playing the game. You're gonna lose. But that was actually a fun game. He didn't just have vampires, he had flying vampires. <laughs> I 
All right, let's go straight into the next one. See if we get him again. Get a rematch. You know what? That's something that I want. I wish that they had in this game. Uh, so you can set up like um. Uh, we we might be conceding this game. Um, like kind of like tournament style, or not tournament, but like. Like actual, what's the word? Like structured, you know, uh, best two out of three. Like I wish you could do best two out of three against uh, against people on this. Make your vow. So the fact that he has that is th he is gonna try to mill himself. Cause he's gonna use this to try to find that mechanical guy the the whatever his name is um let's try to rush him if he starts to mill himself i'm just gonna concede like i the the chase mill games take fucking forever like that's the other thing that's annoying about him they fucking take forever Putting up defenses. Uh, that way he can be defended while he's trying to mill himself. I mean, this is just a this is a mill chase. I already fucking know it is. I don't. I, they're not fun to play against. I don't care. Like doing that doesn't mean anything to me, especially because like, uh, I made it into platinum. Not even trying to. I made it into platinum, and I mean it's just gonna keep me at twelve hundred anyway. So, whatever. I don't care. And I don't know if that, like, sits, uh, bad with people. It's like, oh, what, what's the point of playing or whatever? The point of playing is to have fun. If I don't have fun against Jay Smill, I'm not gonna play against it. <laughs> like, why would I? It's fucking... It's boring. And it takes fucking forever. <laughs> That's just me. Time to put on a good show. I am not afraid to fight. And the fact that she's using this land, this fire land, makes me think that she might be using the the gut fires too. So y'all might see me concede twice. <laughs> Oh no, he's conceding. Maybe not. We'll see. Drink deep from the well of life. Go ahead and heal us. Because there's nothing else to do right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we could do this to do that. Well, let's attack and see if she blocks. Let's see what she does. I have a feeling there might be a, a closet trap. Not a closet trap. A uh, gut fire trap. There wasn't a gut fire trap. Which is, which surprises me a lot, honestly. I could use so we'll do that. Subjects. We'll go ahead and make her resilient. Is that what it's called? Relentless, relentless. Excuse me. Maybe she's actually just Nisa Ramp. That would be nice. I don't have any issue with Nisa Ramp. I actually did a Nisa Ramp uh, in the Titans. Uh, yesterday. Check that out if you haven't seen it. This lady ramping into Titans. Hey, Alf Alpha Bio, did you watch my? Did you watch my my ramp into my ramp into Titans video from yesterday? Man, that'd be really cool if you if you did. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to blow up your Titan because Titans are scary. But uh, hey, if. <laughs> 
If you <laughs> if you saw my video and you made that dick, fucking let me know. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you see this. If you see this. <laughs> That'd be really interesting, honestly, because like uh, I think my my ramp into Titans deck, uh, it's called Nisa's Titans. I think that's only I think it only has like a hundred views right now. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not the only person I wanted to make Titans. Pick your poison. But that was just a primeval Titan. Maybe she just had the, maybe this is just like a regular ramp deck, and she just put the primeval Titan in it. Uh, this deck has a lot of removal. Go ahead and doom, blow up the one thing, doom that. We, honestly, we should have attacked before we doomed to see if she was going to do that. We're not even anywhere close to our profane palace. But I just, I got... Trigger happy with all my, all my woo. Ooh, that's gonna kill everything. Luckily, some of my stuff came back, but damn, that killed everything. All right, we'll go ahead and doom that. Oh, wait. Let's see if he blocks. Uh, wait, no. Wait, yeah, yeah. Let's see if he blocks something. <laughs> Okay, he didn't block anything, because if he blocks something, then we could have done that. But, he didn't, so we'll just doom him. He got us a lot closer to our profane palace. Alright, he is... He is gonna ramp us to fucking death. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he killed us. <laughs> I'm completely fine with that. You know what? I am going to put this video up. Just to prove a point. Those two games were fun. I have no issues with losing. My issue is... Having to play against decks that have no brain power to them and not having fun. Those two games, I had fun in those two games. If I have to play against a deck that I'm not that I'm not gonna have fun against, like the Jace Mill or the Gutfire stuff, I'm just gonna quit. I'll just stay at twelve hundred for the rest of the month. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Has anybody do people put up videos where they just lose every game? Like is that a thing? <laughs> the deck will be in the description. After those two games, you probably don't want to use it. it you probably think it's trash. <laughs> I have gotten wins with it. I think it is fun. Uh, there may be tweaks to it. I have another version of it where I was using green instead of white. Um, just to... Uh... To power up my creatures instead of staying alive. Like, I was just using drain to stay alive. But I felt like I needed more, more life gain. That's why I made it into white. But, regardless. Hopefully you liked the video. And hopefully I'll see you in another one of my videos. Wee!